All right, let's do a window adjustment. Um, in the Model 3, there are two bolts, uh, or two screws down here in the bottom, underneath the door panel here and here, that the window tracks bolt through. The There's a vertical window track here, another vertical window track here, and those bolts in the bottom are adjustable, and they swing the bottom of the window track in and out, which causes the top of the window to move forward and backward. Um, so as the window track on the bottom moves out that way, the window at the top will move in that way. So take the door panel off first. We're going to take this off. There's a bolt under here. And there's a panel here that we'll take off. And then there's a screw underneath here. So we've got tools out here, a uh, flathead screwdriver. Got an eight millimeter and a 10 millimeter driver. Uh, Torx head bits. I don't remember which size it needs offhand, but we'll get there. And then some Allen bolts or uh, Allen wrenches. So first thing, you use a screwdriver, pry this little reflector out on the back. That exposes a screw in there. Let's see what size Torx bit we need. The T27. So there's one of three. Next, we'll get the one under here that I talked about. third one there's this little panel you can stick your finger under there and pry it out it just comes out like that there's another third bolt underneath there Let's see if I can set the camera down and get get it Once those are out, there's a reflector or a light down here that I like to pry out. I'm going to unplug this to get it out of the way. Uh, when you unplug this, the window uh, will go all the way up. Right, so when you open the door, it drops an inch or so. If you unplug this, the car thinks the door is closed and the window, window goes all the way up. So don't close the door after unplugging this light unless the window is down. I'm gonna go ahead and roll the window down all the way. What I like to do is you can grab under this hole right here where that light is that you just pulled out and just give it a good tug. Pull the whole door panel loose. And then uh, it's helpful to have something here to lay the door panel on because it doesn't come all the way off. There's still some uh, cables and cords connected. So go ahead and the uh, tweeter here came loose when I did that. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this and take it off. Just pull that connector out. And the whole door panel just lifts off. And swing it to the side over here. One thing you want to look for when you put the door panel back on, um, all these little white clips, right, white round clips, most of them will stay in the door, but some of them come off and they stay on the door panel, like this one right here. So I like to pry just to get the door to seat correctly. I'll pull this off and put it back in the door before I put the door panel back on. All right, so the window adjusters, there's one right here. The other one's underneath the speaker, so we have to take the speaker off to get to it. It's an eight millimeter driver, just four bolts. Once 
those four bolts are out. We'll unplug the speaker at the top. And then there's four clips. One, two, uh, uh, three, and four. I'm just gonna pull those back a little bit, pull the speaker out. One, once you get two of them, the thing should just come right out. So here's the other adjuster. And if I roll the window up, let me roll that up real quick. All right, so you can see, I don't know if you can see down in here if there's enough light. Get my phone flashlight going here. I don't know if you can see down in there, but there's a uh, there's a nut on the front, right, that will loosen. But if you look on the inside of there, um, that stud that's in there has an Allen head, um, and it's threaded all the way back in here. So we'll loosen that nut up. It's a 10 millimeter. We'll loosen that nut, and you can see the window track is a little bit loose. You don't need to take it all the way off, just loosen it a little bit. I'll loosen this one here. But that stud is threaded. I don't know if you can see, it goes into another nut that's in the window track. So if you, um, if you tighten that stud, it's going to pull the window track closer to the door. And what that does is that'll pop the, the window out on the top. So what you want to do is if you're trying to tighten up that gap, you want to loosen the stud, right, which would be counterclockwise. And if you loosen that, it increases the gap here. Right, so tightening it would decrease the gap. Loosening it would push the gap out a little bit. And when you push it out on the bottom, it should push the window in on the top. So if you think about this whole thing being connected, if you push it out on the bottom, it's going to rock this way and push it in on the top. Let's see what size Allen wrench it needs. Let's see, that looks like a two and a half. No, what size is this? A three? Three and a half? I don't know what this is. My markings are all, markings all came off the Oh, it says on the side, three millimeter. It's engraved on the side. So this is a three millimeter Allen head. All right, and if you want to tilt the window in to close the gap on the top, make it seat tighter, you would do this counterclockwise to loosen it. Now, I've already done previously, I've already loosened this two turns, and I loosened this one two turns, and it didn't help my wind noise. So what I think I'm going to do, what I'm wondering is if as I... As I loosened the front and tilted both the front in, um, I'm wondering if it kept the gap the same front to back. So what I'm actually going to do is on mine, I'm going to tighten the rear adjuster, which should push the back out just a hair. Um, but if you're doing this for the first time, you'd probably want to loosen the Allen stud, which would push the, uh, the window in at the top. So I've done two turns front and back on mine. So I'm gonna undo one turn on the rear. Again, I'm gonna go clockwise. You're probably gonna wanna go counterclockwise. So I'm gonna go one turn clockwise and call that good. So if you've loosened here going counterclockwise and loosened here going counterclockwise, you've tilted the window in at the top, right? So then you just reverse it to put everything back together. So I'll tighten this guy up. Tighten this one up. My 10 millimeter driver. Put the speaker back in. Seat it on the bottom and just push it in on the top. Set them down, obviously. There we go. Plug it in. Four 
for speaker bolts to put back in. To start them, get them started before I tighten them all down. So start all four before you tighten any of them. They're all in, go ahead and tighten, tighten them down. run the window back down so now I'm gonna try and fix this thing let's get a screwdriver in there and pop that clip out Right, and that clip goes in this hole right here. It looks like the only one that stayed with the door panel. So I'll just put that guy back in there. All right, now door panel goes back on. One thing, you hook it on the top and it can swing in and out a little bit. Just make sure those clips are lined up. And then one thing that's caught me a few times, this wire harness at the bottom where we pop, popped out the light earlier likes to hang out. Just need to tuck that back in and have it come out the cut out for the light. All right, now just push the uh, those door um, plastic rivets or whatever they are. Just push them to seat them again. Alright, now I got the three Torx bolts we took out. Put back in. cover back on that one. The reflector. If I can get a good angle on it, but it hasn't it's directional, it says up. Alright, so just make sure that, that part's up. It just presses back into place. Get the light on the bottom. Plug it in, push it back into place. Last thing is the tweeter. find a place to put the camera. Hopefully that works. Just plug the tweeter back in. It's got a little clip here. It goes into a hole right here. So line those up and then it just snaps down in place. And that should be it. Hopefully that helps with wind noise. We'll see what it does on mine.